Hello, everyone. Um, I feel like you've clicked on this video because you're encountering the exact same problem I was. Um, I'm a DJ, and uh, of course, I updated my computer to a recent update, Windows 11. Um, I think it was the 22H2 update, uh, most recent one. And I went to go into Serato DJ Pro, and when I plugged in my mixer, I got a little prompt here that said that the DJ mixer was unable to connect. Now, I have the DDJ SR2 mixer. Um, so, and it's brand new, by the way. So I bought this thing and I was like, hey, there's no way, right? Um, and so I, I did some scouring the internet and uh, I found this thing. So if you go to the Serato, this is their website. Uh, and if you scroll down, they have a, they say you go troubleshooting here. I tried all this, by the way, because I went through all this stuff. But then what I realized down here was a note on some 11th gen Intel based CPU Windows computers, some users are unable to connect their Serato primary hardware. Um, computers with this can result in a failed audio or MIDI connection. Um, and I read a little bit further and apparently it cannot be fixed. Serato cannot do anything about it. And I was like, great. So it was the day of a gig. Uh, I was in a nightclub and basically, um, luckily I had a backup computer with Serato DJ Pro. So I managed to boot that and use that for the event. No worries. But I was like very frustrated because this is my main DJing computer and now my main DJing computer cannot work. So I'll show you how to fix this issue. Very quick, very easy. I spent way too much time trying to figure this out, like hours on the day of. So you're going to want to hit settings here, uh, the start icon, and then you want to go to um, settings. OK, uh, just because I have my, my thing, my email here, I wanted to cover it up. Um, here I have the Windows update um, for uh, this is where you want to go. So you click on Windows update and you go to your update history. Now I installed this one. So the Windows 11 version 22H2 on the 16th. And this is when my event was. OK, so I installed it that day um, and was pretty choked when I realized I couldn't use it. So, yeah. Um, basically, what all I did, it was, was like, uh, I found that, well, my previous update worked. So I was like, well, I'm just going to go back in time. So if you scroll down here, you can go to recovery options. And here is where you want. Um, and right here, there should be an offer off, un, ugh, under recovery options. If you update the computer to and from a version, it will have a button here. And this will say go back. And it will basically return you to the update you had previous to this. So now, guess what? Once I hit that button, it took a couple of minutes to restart. It basically rebooted the computer to an old version, which, you know, it was only from a week ago. So it wasn't that far of an update. And then uh, I up the, up, uh, went into uh, Serato Pro on the same computer. And watch this. Plugged in the mixer. And to show you the proof, there you go. And now I can actually throw songs in there and, uh, yeah, basically mix and stuff. So uh, hopefully this was uh, helpful for you guys um, and for anyone trying to experience this issue. Um, yeah, uh, let me know if you can figure it out. Uh, if the computer already came with this new update, I don't know if there's anything I could do for you unless you find a way to like download an old version of Windows onto your newer computer. Um, that might be something you might have to investigate or even ask your computer software uh, tech or I have no idea. But uh, hopefully this helped a lot of you. Um, yeah.